Hi chat. Welcome to another stream. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Discord. <laughs> Somebody said. Um, but let's see. It is not a normal stream day. It is a Thursday. It is the 19th of August of 2021. And we're back for another stream, as we do. Um, we're going to be drinking. Oh, I have to remember. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're drinking. Oh, wasn't it? Goodness, why is it not? There we go. I'm going to focus if I zoom in now. Yeah. We're drinking Oberon, which is, uh, I believe it's local. It reminds me a lot of college. Um, so that's what I had decided that I'm drinking today. And my glass is extra frosted today because the power went out and um, they like got a bunch of condensation by the time that the power came back on. So they're super frosty today. Um, yeah, this is a decent pour. But anyway, any hoosers. Fill the whole can there. But let me say hi to everyone who's here. Uh, Marsha was first today and is also hosting. Thank you, thank you. And we'll replay this real quick. Arc like Slavic, thank you for the reset. That's four months, four months in a row. Appreciate your continued support. Good to see you again. Uh, RKJ is here. Hello, hello. Almost first. You were so close. Um, but just, just barely missed out on that one. JJMC, good to see you. Your, uh, your streak of firsts has been, uh, Dethroned JJMC. Uh, Angelina X is here. Hello, hello. With a nice little wavy moat. Um, a bunch of Marsha. Then Mahamdi is here. Hello, hello. Good to see you all again. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, hopefully y'all are doing well today. Uh, the plan for today, oh, I guess I should do my little command thing. So today work on some MISC open source stuff and then maybe work on a blog post. I promised a couple months back now that I would write a blog post for GitHub and I have not finished it yet. Oh no, Gavin, you broke your sub streak. Oh no. Well, welcome back. It's good to see you again, Gavin. How are you doing? Uh, Gavernat maintains talks, if you guys don't know. Um, but yeah, we have a few things in my email queue. Um, oh man, this one's old. I should have gotten to this sooner, but I did not for some reason. Uh, the first one that we're going to be looking at, uh, we're going to be doing some reviews, mostly, for the first part. <clears throat> Why is the MOTD set to chaotic horny? Oh. Because you just said it to that, Marsha. I see, I see. Uh, doing fine, thanks. Hope you feel better. Yeah. Oh, I was sick for too long. But yeah, I'm, I'm most, mostly better now. Mostly better. Um, yeah, this one's kind of cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Unit test deprecated aliases. Uh, this should just link to the three docs, probably. Yeah, we'll fix that. We'll good code change like a ghost. Um, but yeah, these should be fairly straightforward. Oh, <laughs> nice. There was an extra new line there. All right, let's see how they implemented this. <laughs> yeah, good code change like a ghost. Hey, what's up, Nurum? <laughs> Don't forget to rewrite Babby and Rust. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Shaz Robot? Hello, hello. <clears throat> three three de demonios Ed edmonios i don't know thank you for the follow welcome to the stream hopefully you're doing well oh man i currently am like itching a lot because well let's see on uh monday what did i do on monday is it not monday that i did something the tuesday it's tuesday tuesday might have been Monday. I don't know. One of those days, uh, I went and hung out with my friend Erwin and his partner and their friend uh, in their back in 
Erwin's friend's backyard. I got invited over to someone else's backyard, which is kind of cool. Um, and we hung out, talked about life and stuff. And there were a fuck ton of mosquitoes. And so I have like one on my arm right here. I have like three on the back of my legs. I have like the the worst the worst part. <laughs> I can't show you this without showing feet, so I'm just not going to. The worst part is I wear like the same type of socks whenever I go outside for like biking and whatever. And let's say this is my foot. It's not, but hey, Dad Rubinette, thank you for the resub. Appreciate that. Let's let's assume this is my foot. So my socks normally go up to here. And the socks that I was wearing at the, like, get-together only go up to here. And so this portion of my ankle, because I wear high socks and I do exercise with them, it basically just, like, rips all the hairs off my legs there. And so I just have a ring of mosquito bites in just that region because there's that's, like, the only place that they could get to that doesn't have hair. Oh, but they're so itchy. I didn't sleep at all last night because I was just scratching my leg, which is terrible. Um, but oh, I do not, I do not like the, uh, mosquitoes. They're dicks. Uh, but anyway, oh man, I just missed a bunch of chat. Hold on. Hold up. What did I miss? Uh, new message says, yo, any good books to learn Python for a newbie? Uh, read only a bite of Python by now. I actually don't know books, unfortunately. I don't really have anything to recommend there. Gian Scripps, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, but I do have a bunch of videos um, <laughs> about Python stuff that you might be able to check out. Might be able to learn some stuff from there. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Ddels? Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello, chat. And Anthony and plushies and Ddels. <laughs> oh, nice thing. You made the bot say hi to you. Uh, Gabrinet says, picked up my Tox rewrite test lately, done to 10 release blockers. Ooh, getting close. Getting close. Hopefully before 3.6 support ends. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Um, see, I'm still not sure whether I'm going to drop 3.6 at the same time that Upstream does. Partially because I feel like 3.6 is one of those. It's one of those releases where... It was a huge incremental improvement to Python, and so a lot of things are stuck there, so to speak. Um, like, I feel like 3.7 didn't really give us much, other than, I guess, from future import annotations, which I really like. Um, like, that would be my only reason to change my minimum version from 6 to 7, would be for the annotation stuff. Uh, but other than that, like, what, breakpoint was added? And I have a backport for that, so not a huge deal. <laughs> Rampant STI, no, no, mosquitoes, stupid mosquitoes. Genscript says, do you use an IDE? Well, I mean, if you consider my text editor, Babby, as an IDE. No, I don't use what you would traditionally consider an interactive development environment. Or is it immersive? It's surely it's interactive, right? What does IDE stand for? Integrated. Shows how much I know. Um, but no, I, I don't. I have in the past used Visual Studio proper, uh, Eclipse, and IntelliJ. But I just use Gabby now. <clears throat> Your mosquitoes only bite on flesh. Your mosquitoes are amateurs. Mine bite through clothing. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, flesh was easy access. And so they just they just piled on there. But what should you do with these bastards in Scotland? What? Those things look significantly worse than mosquitoes. Are they like ticks? But like flying? Oh, it's a sharp prick too? Oh my god. Oh, they're like mosquitoes that hurt. That sucks. <laughs> mosquitoes, I didn't like. I didn't even notice getting bit, but it was just like super itchy afterwards. Ah, yeah, this is the real the release milestone. Nice, nice. <sighs> this one, this one's gonna be interesting. 
I already know Control C on Windows is a fiddly, uh, fiddly beast. Am I getting close? Getting close. Where's Thomas Granger? Uh, he doesn't stop by the stream very often. But he hangs out in the Discord. Which is fine. <clears throat> Wired Wired says bug bite fix, soak a washcloth in hot water as hot as you can stand on your skin and hold it on the bites for 10 to 30 seconds. Breaks down the chemicals in the bite, helps a ton. Yeah, I have tried that already and it doesn't always work. Um, and that's not exactly like the, the amount of heat that you would need to break down the chemicals that cause the irritation would also just cook your skin. So I don't, the, the science isn't really there. Um, but you know, anything, if you believe in anything enough, the placebo effect will improve your situation. So it is, it is certainly possible. Koros, hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, 36 seems to be super stable still, which I guess is a problem. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> Brick a point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How is Babby formed? Babby's definitely an ID. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's missing some integration parts, I guess. Storm McCloud. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. <clears throat> Easy access. They just piled on. Yeah, yeah. They were like, oh man, the way your ankle is dressed. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, now I've been itching and scratching. Carl says, what do you think is the best way to run a Python program that runs some set of threaded tasks in a schedule way without having a framework like Flask or Django? Threaded tasks in a scheduled way. What do you mean? Like, do you have some sort of pipeline of operations that you need? I mean, if it's one-off, just, like, write something with, uh, with um blah, 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 blah. with either uh concurrent futures or async IO or something like that. Uh if you're looking for a task scheduling framework, I haven't worked with one that I'm happy with. <laughs> we'll put it that way. So I'm not really sure. Um, oak mites. Oh no, they're like teeny tiny. Oh, oh, that looks awful. Glad I don't have those. <clears throat> Mecco says, I'm learning SCSS. I'm watching you. Cool. Well, I know more than I should. <laughs> I type libass. I always type libass. <laughs> Um, I know more than I should about SCSS because I've written a uh, Python binding for um, libsass, which is, well, used to be the canonical implementation of the SAS compiler. Uh, but now it's Dart, which means that basically nobody can, um, basically nobody can uh, integrate it in any language that isn't JavaScript. Uh, as far as I know, Dart does not compile down to C binary. There's not really a good way to embed it in something else, which is annoying. But, well, uh, you can try Huey has scheduled tasks. That might be, yeah. I've, I've heard of Celery. I've not tried Huey myself. Uh, use silver instead of cloth and hold that in hot water. Maybe. Stop looking at weird ass bugs. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're done with the bugs. No more bugs, chat. <clears throat> Only software bugs. <laughs> um, tests are repetitive, but there's no external trigger. They trigger periodically, so they're scheduled where they run and finish after a certain amount of time. Oh, well then, can you get away with just like cron? Or whatever or do you have like dependencies or hmm hmm that's like getting some inspiration process them produce a result ship it somewhere are they like do you have a graph of of tasks or is it just like one-off individual tasks 
RKJ says, are you worried about your OnlyFans income? Yeah, OnlyFans announced, is it today or is it yesterday, that they are going to start banning sexual content, which um, I, I didn't know that there was a part of OnlyFans that wasn't sexual content. So what's, what's going to be left of the site after that? What, what, what is their market share going to be? It's like Tumblr when they ban furries. Like, what else is left? <clears throat> Nurm says, my dad once heated a knife with a goddamn lighter and then held that on a bite. Oh. Sexually explicit content? Where do they draw the line? <clears throat> Even the robots.txt is sexual? All that sexy ASCII stuff? Wait, what? I'm opening this off stream because... Oh no, it's just an empty file. What? what are you talking about, Marsha? Um, <clears throat> you don't release your closed source on OnlyFans? What the fuck did I sign up for? <laughs> I didn't put in payment information. But, yeah. Where does Twitch draw the line? I, I guess that's a good point. But I feel like... I don't know. If you're going to OnlyFans and you can't even get nips, like what's 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 the point? <laughs> uh, typically, sexually explicit is intercourse, masturbation. They're likely following the Patreon approach. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what's up, LJ? Matt. Hello, hello. How do you see the robots that text without scraping? Just. Onlyfans.com slash robots.txt Just load it in the browser. <laughs> like here's pre-commit CI is robots.txt. Uh it has to be on this subdomain. Just a full disallow. Um uh, welcome to the stream, Celestial Blue, and colored binary. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, right, so the first thing is reviewing this. Uh, we already have that one thing that we're gonna have to good code change like a coast. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Oh, wait, there's more of them in 3.5? Hmm. Nice, nice splat there, like that. <clears throat> uh, so the link for the oat mites at the top left in the terminal, and the scientific name is Piemodus Hrfsi. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean that does uh that does sound like something Python related. So this seems reasonable. Uh, and so it's only matching self dot this thing. That seems good enough. Uh, this replacement's real straightforward. This is really easy. It's really nice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wait, what? Assert not equals is not a dep wait. That doesn't exist in no oh, what? Wait, what? Well maybe they were only deprecated in particular versions? That would make more sense, I guess. Fire exit! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. I guess let me open up the docs and take a look at that and see. Deprecated since oh I see. Got it. Got it. Uh, that's what we're going to have to figure out. There's still nudes on YouTube, for example. The naked human body isn't inherently sexual, but I don't know where the line is. Yeah, but like... Selling nudes... I, I think... I don't know that there's a line to draw. I think selling nudes is 100% going to be for sexual reasons. I don't I don't think anyone's gonna be able to spin, oh yes, I'm selling, you know, scientific diagrams of my body on onlyfans.com. <laughs> um 
Where, 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 where's the bug? That's just legit. I bought those foot picks for science reasons. Oh yeah, I guess is it still gonna allow feet? Cause uh, for some people that's sexual, but I wouldn't classify it under like nudity. We saw the implied wink. Okay, all right, it's fair. He got me. Just uh, don't mind me searching for uh, searching for um, scientific. <clears throat> What is this weird table? Oh, these are the fail... The fail names, and these are the cert names. Got it. <clears throat> I'm downloading pictures of bodies from OnlyFans.edu. Oh, no. Uh, YouTube does make a lot of cute feed stuff as restricted content, so you can't see it if you're not logged in. I can't remember the last time I've been to YouTube not logged in. I do know the... um. That thing you're talking about. Like a, they have like a age wall. Different OnlyFans for podi podiatrists and is that, is that feet doctors? Pod pod podiatrist. Pods are feet, right? Just search for them. Medical professional devoted to the treatment of disorders of the foot. I mean, if you're into feet picks, I don't think you're into like podiatrist picks. It's usually that's just like gross feet, you know. You don't want um. You don't want you don't want gross feet. Bet? Oh no. Bad <laughs> man is foot man. <laughs> okay. Um, the question is whether these. Whether all the aliases exist. I guess it's not. But that's fine. Actually, what happens if we do two here? Oh, there was a different chunk of... Oh, yeah, that, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Because in Python 2... Yeah, some of these were deprecated, but not all the rest of them. Oh... Yeah. Okay. Got it. Cool. Even though this uh <laughs> this would always raise an error. Um Yeah, this seems fine. I will good code change like a ghost to make this a three, but other than that. <clears throat> I know, right? All those clean, smooth feet. Hmm. What? Uh, upgrade. <laughs> yeah, right. Nurem says I need three more food names. I don't know. Pizza, popcorn, pretzels, poppy seeds. Which is a reference that I hope no one in chat gets. <laughs> I really hope no one in chat understands that reference. <clears throat> the pick to F Ring him D uh, should probably mention something about the different options. Because
Yeah. Um, Celestia Blue says, wait, let's get rebase. Um, explains rebase. Check out this video where I go over all the details of rebase. It is what I refer to as the chainsaw of Git. Uh, it allows you to rewrite history, which is what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> Marcia says, Marcia has redeemed. I review some of your code. I refunded your like four or five of those, so you got all your points back. Are you actually going to have me review your code this time? Also, Uriarker, welcome back. Says, hey, bro, do you ever do code reviews? Do I ever do code reviews? Oh, my God. I have done, um... I've done thousands of code reviews. Maybe even more. Zen Gardner Bot, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? <clears throat> yeah, that cost 25k channel points, yeah. Hey, what's up, Wraith Within? Hello, hello. Who says CN? What? Marcia says, I have some code. I don't want to waste your time, though. I mean, you know, not wasting. We're just stream. That's how things go. Um, like, if you want to, give it to me, and I will review it on the next stream. And we can we can actually walk through it. I know you've you've <laughs> you've bounced around as that with that as an idea for a few times. Um. Uh, uh, availability. He writes. Uh, More deprecated aliases are rewritten with I3 plus. A good code changed like a ghost. Sick. Oh man, in the time that I got one done, two more emails came in. Rippy dippy. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm laughing at something that I can't show you. <laughs> I think you would understand, but I should not. <laughs> <clears throat> Are they really in Capix? No. I was looking at something that I sent Juicebox Hero and her response. <clears throat> but yeah. Review, approve. Nice. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> uh. Hey, at least it actually happens. Sometimes, sometimes you have the sneezes and it's like, Haha, nope, no sneeze for you. <laughs> but we got it this time. I bet it usually takes the longest here. Sneeze tease, yeah, yeah. Those damn, those damn sneezes, they run away from you. Um, blue balls, but it's a sneeze, yeah. It's true, it's true. Streamers sneeze, weird flex, but okay. Wait, what? Hey, what's up, Mr. Larry? Welcome back. Hello, hello. How you doing? Mistulary, that's just one of those names that's like really nice to say. Mistulary. Eagle PT is back too. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Why is 3.9 taking so long? Is this still the old Dead Snakes version? Kick him in at you. Hey, what's up, silly buttons? How you doing? Missed you too, buddy. <laughs> right? 
no, this is just slow for who knows what reason. Publish coverage. Some reason took two, almost two minutes. Man. The thing is, I think I could write, I think I could write a CI system that's better than this. But I kind of don't want to. <laughs> don't say it. Yeah. I know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I really kind of want to. I feel like I can make a coverage system. Like, if I'm going to do something, I would do a coverage system next. Because uh, I think I could gobble up um, Code Cubs lunch, you know. That's a little loud. Keep peeking. So we're going to turn us down. Oh, maybe that's too far. Right in the middle? There we go. Every cover system is broken in some way. Yeah, but I feel like I could do it less shit, you know? <clears throat> Maybe. Perhaps. Oh, I didn't actually get two emails. I just marked this one as unread for some reason. Weird. Metabytes! With 19 months of septum. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well. That fancy one and a half year badge. Pythonic Pie, good to see you again. Code Cup is extra broken. Yeah, that would be most most of the motivation. Is that codecup.io is kind of not great. And it's the most popular one. And I feel like I could I feel like I could pretty easily do better than they are. <laughs> Service. Hey, what's up? I'm Dark. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Okay, let's make a release. I was gonna say we're 40 minutes in and I haven't written a line of code, but we are accomplishing things, so that still counts. Uh, means we'll get a big auto update next week. Oh. Have <laughs> my PyPI password. I was thinking the other day, what if somebody went through like all my VODs and there are, there are a number of things that I say over and over and over. And um, I just think it would be very hilarious if somebody just like made compilations of like every time I've been like, and now I'll grab my PyPI a password <laughs> or uh, hit this break a point or things like that. And I'm sure there's like, I'm sure there's a bunch of things that I say like that. That end up. And some of them I know this and some of them I don't. <laughs> Celestial Blue says, I return. I'm understanding rebase a bit. Well, there's a few other videos that might also be helpful for understanding rebase. And that would be like undoing an accidental git commit. Oh, I can give you this link. So, uh, uh, um, Where's the other one? Uh, no, not that one. There's another one that's like the same idea, but slightly different. <clears throat> this one. 
This one is also similar to that. It might also be helpful. But yeah. It's the drop song. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that would be another one. Um Metabyte says so pre-commit coverage win. <laughs> yeah, I'm tempted, but I don't know that I should. <laughs> okay, so this is the next one. Which um why did they have so many commits for such a small change? Oh. Are they gonna have branch protection on so I can't actually fix their shit? Port forward. Oh. They are using Setup Tools Golang. Interesting. Eventually, you just gotta bundle all your tools into one proxy package so I can pip install AWC tools and kickstart any project. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a way, see, what do I, what do I use? I don't know, in a way, like, pre-commit gets you all the rest of them, for the most part. Well, not, all of them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but you're right, Metabytes. I, I do kind of need a meta pip install a stilly and get everything. Well, this is cool. Any vault setup tools going will strip all binaries. This can be disabled by an strip false to build going. This will increase the size of the extension. Yeah, I don't necessarily want Extra options. <laughs> there is a typo. Now I can't tell which word spelled right. Damn it. <laughs> Nishp. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I think it's, I think it's, yeah. Okay. Why did this need an alias? Oh, because it got extended here. Uh, I would have written this as an if statement. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is a interesting idea. It works. It's weird. Oh wait, stir stir to stir any. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I th think that build X. Work. Is this the um callback? You know, I don't remember how this project works, so we're gonna clone it. I'm hoping I can good change good code change like a ghost with <laughs> their branch. <laughs> but I think they had branch protection enabled. which would make it tricky. But yeah, I don't remember how this thing works. Okay, so set of tools calls this. I think I can just do this. And then do that. I think that it does the same thing. 
did they actually write a test for this? Probably not. Um, that's probably why they uh, did that. Did this uh, little trick here. Does this even work? Because I think we have LD flags here. I should play around with it. Yeah. <clears throat> I before E except in most circumstances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct on the facts, yeah. I before E except after C and a million other special cases, right, Keith Nicholas? Yes, indeed. The the thief. Yeah. Dana over Vim. I mean yes, but I'm also not using nano. Um I'm being a little sneaky. Do it. Oh, yeah. Um. I love how it always prints this out. Not really much about that. Okay, so that's 424k. And if we do... Strip false. Okay, it does make a difference. Okay. Um, Ice Cream Cartel says, what is he making? I'm working on a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. This project uh, is called Setup Tools Golang. And what it does is it allows you to write Python extensions in Go. Um. Janie Sam, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I originally wrote this <laughs> for a project that I didn't end up using. But I originally wanted to write a Docker file linter. And Atlas, meet Merlin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I originally wanted to write a Docker file linter. And I started writing Go and I was, I don't know, I had like a minimally viable product and then I was like, I want to add a command line option. And command line parsing in Go kind of sucks. I mean, it's gotten better since I did this. Because this was five years ago. Um, I'm a little bit better since then, but parsing command line options in Go kind of sucks. So I was like, huh. I wonder if I could make it so that I can call Go from Python. And so I did some Googling around and, um, what is his name? What's this kid up here? Yeah. And so I found this where, um, they have changed their last name since then, but at the time, <laughs> at the time, um, this individual and I shared a last name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I basically followed this blog post, got it working, and then I was like, well, this works, but I can't really distribute this. Um, so I wrote a setup tools extension to allow me to distribute um, 
Python functions written in Go. And then I made, you know, the module that I was going to make, and then I gave up on writing a talk file linter. So I did all the work, and then I was like, eh, you know, this is a decent place to stop. <laughs> Which, for better or worse, is how a lot of my projects end up being. But, <clears throat> you know, such is life. At least I got cool stuff out of it. Um... Metabyte says, the year is 2069. I wake up, log into Babby OS, and open the titular text editor. I run the all repos code tool to enable my AI copilot to automatically work on all my projects simultaneously. Pre-pre-commit keeps me from even thinking about making mistakes, which is good. Ice Cream Cartel, thank you for the follow, or thank you for the bits. It wasn't a follow, it was bits. Thank you for the bits. Uh, which is good since I used the mind reader plugin for Babby. The bonk cuff tool gives me a scalar increase, a scalar increasing headache as my test coverage decreases. Another in the day of, in the day, another day in the life of a dev at AWC LLC. Oh no. Ice cream, there we go. There's the follow. Thank you for the follow, Ice Cream Cartel. So the reason that I didn't want to write a Dockerfile, Dockerfile parser in Python um, or use one that already existed because there were several Dockerfile parsers written in Python is they were all slightly different from the actual Dockerfile parser. And those differences were important because I was trying to make something that was true to the actual parser. And the only, well, I guess not the only way, but the in my mind, the only reasonable way to make that work was to actually use the real parser. Uh, Lemname says, in other words, it is a project for people with commitment problems. Well, not specifically. That was just how I wrote it for the first time. Roosterhead says, can you explain Python extensions? So, typically when you write Python, you just write, you know, normal text files that are executed, right? So, this function, or this file defines a function called f that prints hello. This is what I would refer to and what other people refer to as pure Python. Uh, but you can write C Python extensions, which are traditionally written in C, uh, which the Python interpreter can um, you know, import and run. And uh, there's, there's, there's bunches of them. I already have a Y directory. What's in t.py? Oh yeah, I was trying someone's original expression. <laughs> What's an example? Simple JSON. Um, so in this case, it installs this little speedups.cpython-38-x86-64-linux gnu.so. Uh, and so this is a shared object. It is a originally compiled from C code, and Python can import this and run this. And so that's what's usually referred to as a C Python extension. And in the case of Setup Tools Golang, it produces a file similar to this, but it does that by using the Go compiler. Kind of tricky. <clears throat> Dinell says, oh yeah, to force me to use Vim. It's true, it's true. Uh, you have to embrace one dash instead of two, though you can always use git opt if you must. Yeah. Listeal Blue says the text editor is real sweet. Yeah, I mean, I wrote it because I wanted to have a text editor that does what I wanted it to do, and so that's why I wrote it. Hey, what's up, Kexino? Hello, hello. Hopefully you're doing well as well. And Catherine's here. How's it going? Have you drank too much? Can't talk? No, I was just trying to read a, a copy pasta, and it was throwing me off. <clears throat> the reality of the code will automatically be extracted from your mind and run through a DMCA database, at which point you'll be arrested. Oh no. Guess we're back to middle of the night EU time. Wait, what? Not quite middle of the night. But... Uh... Maybe it is. Uh, it's like right on the edge of middle of the night. It could be worse. 
but what makes Babby special? Uh, it has nice terminal highlighting. Like you can use TextMate themes with it. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, Restrad says, would you use that for the performance that many think Python lacks? Yeah, typically you write like, so if you're if you're in C Python, one strategy to make code faster is to write it in C or in some C compatible callable thing such as Rust or Go or whatever. Um, but if you're in PyPy, it's actually the opposite. You write pure Python code to make stuff faster because it's just in time compiled. Uh, but yeah, here's like an example of like a very very simple function that you would write for Go. Um, so here's a sub function which takes, you know, a set of arguments. It parses two longs out of those arguments and adds them together. <laughs> Not very, not very fancy, but it, it's an example. Uh, it's 1 a.m. here. I don't think it could be much worse. Huh. Well, I mean, on Saturday, it's good times, but hey, it used to be, it used to be 4 a.m., so it could be way worse, James Boyan. Why do you alias it to Nano? Because I used to use Nano, and I have not unwired my brain to type Nano, unfortunately. Um... Like I could type Abby, but I have I've not I've not trained my fingers to do that yet. When I when my brain goes open text editor, it's just like, oh well, there we go, we got a text editor. Oh wait, I fucked it up. Wait, what is R nano? What? What? <laughs> what is Ardano? Restricted Nano. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> My sleep schedule used to be way worse. Please don't send me back to the dark time zone now. <laughs> like Arbash? Just Arbash? It doesn't even start because um, my RC files oh wait it did start it just didn't run my RC file I understand our babby when probably never hey what's up my name is Kobe hello hello welcome back your babby's had a babby yeah our nano <laughs> it's the like um it's the like communist meme <laughs> yeah, it didn't kill my vm it was just because uh it did actually open the sub shell it just didn't tell me about it but yeah anyway what was i doing i don't even remember oh we were a good code change like a ghosting Oh, security is a myth, yeah. It, it sure as hell is. Lem, lemnium, lem, lem, lemnine, lemnine, lemnine. Also, welcome to the stream. I don't know if I said hi. Hello, hello. Uh, all right, we had to write a test because this guy didn't write a test.
Hmm. Hmm. Fidel says I just accidentally did git commit dash i. Oh yeah, the interactive mode of git commit. <laughs> what a mess. Hey, what's up, Von Dutchie? Hello, hello. And polymathic man, good to see you both. Von Dutchie says I got my AWS debt wiped out and was given 500 in credits. Whoa, that's pretty dope. Oh, get add dash i. Yeah, get add dash i is the same. Uh... Wait, I'm not. Get add dash i. I know get add dash p. Is that the same as i? Huh. Oh, I see. Get add dash p is get add dash i, but skips the first step. Interesting. Okay. So I have run it. I use rbash to source unknown build scripts. Oh, cool. Bundachi says, do I leave some VMs running mining BTC for a bit with a 500 USD? <laughs> I think they will just ban you if you, they find you doing that. And they're pretty good at detecting crypto mining. The Gel Mega, how are you been? How have you been? How are you doing? How have you been? All smushed together. Good to see you, welcome back. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, Python does have a bunch of Easter eggs. Um, I have some videos about them. I have one left to do that I know of. Um, all right, so you can do from future. We'll just we'll just we'll just run through all of them. From future import braces. Not a chance. Import anti gravity, which opens up XKCD in the web browser. But anti-gravity also has a geohash function based on the um, the algorithm in that one XKCD comic. What else we got? Oh, Python dash M hello. Super easy, hello world um thing there's also p hello dot foo wait what is it uh... yeah what i thought it was p like what did i do dot bar uh uh anyway there's some other hello module um peg parser this one is limited to python 3.9 You found it, um, but it was removed in three ten. Uh, and then, of course, this. Uh, and the one I have left to do is from future import theory as Fluffle, which allows you to do. Oh, they got rid of that. But anyway, it, it brings back the does not equal less than greater than operator. Uh, and it's supposed to bring back the print statement, but I guess it doesn't work. Because, you know, <laughs> there is no test for this Easter egg, apparently. My mathing man says, what do you do to zip up your lambdas with Terraform? Okay, so for for my lambdas in Terraform, I actually don't use Terraform as my deployment mechanism. Um, so I have, I should rename that. I have a four byte, wait. 
158 byte zip file that just contains an empty lambda. And so I upload that as, um, as my default lambda, and then I don't manage the actual lambda contents with Terraform, and I do my deployments elsewhere. Um, hey, what's up, JX Designs? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, John Mega says, decide to put my language on indefinite hold and start my engine in C++. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've, uh, you've moved on to another project. Python Easter egg concurrency is broken? I don't know if that's an Easter egg. Also had electricity issues. Took them six days to fix. I recently had electricity issues as well. I was out for four days. Uh, which is great. Hey, what's up, Mr. Faisal? Hello, hello. One day these Easter eggs will collide with code used in the nukes. <laughs> yeah, 310 is uh, coming out soon. It's in release candidate stage at the moment. Uh, that was 3.8 you were running. You checked the 3.9 there. Yeah, but it shouldn't be different. This p-hello has been around for a while. Yeah, it's not working for some reason. That works, but this does not. Yeah, it's a frozen module, which is weird shenanigans. Uh, explicit is better than implicit. This part of the Easter egg doesn't make sense in Python. Uh, Python's fairly explicit. Fairly explicit. Are you talking about the language called Python 2 or Python 3? Python 3. Are you going to file a bug report for this? I think there's already one that exists. Silly buttons. And there it's code.com is a lie. Yeah, someone else owns that. Um, this is some other person. It's not me. I partially own Anthony Wright's co.de. Fuck! Well, good thing I'm already drinking. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, Kevin's not even here. Kevin's not even here and he got me. I guess that means I have to get another beer. <clears throat> oh, he got me. Early for my engine, I wrote a dynamic array and some allocators, including the ability to later add, later on add memory defragmentation. And currently almost 20% of my code is a unit test for my dynamic array. Oh no. The ski. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You have fooled again. Hey, what's up, Mumi Jamala? <laughs> I mean, to show that I actually... That it actually works, so it goes goes to my website, or goes to Twitter. So, it is, it is real. Hey, what's up, Lachosa? Apple juice. Some fucking special apple juice. All right, I'm going to go um, grab a beer. I'll be right back. Yeah, you'll have to uh you'll have to send Kevin that clip on the Dick Sword details. I'm sure he'll approve. Appreciate that he got me off stream. I could have sworn it redirected to um my GitHub, but I guess not. But I'll note that for the future. Oh you already did? Perfect. Oh no! Damn it. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Fortunately, it just 
Dripped on the glass. And not on the carpet. So we're good. Anthony spills beer. Oh, now it's going to be sticky. It's actually not bad. Aggressive pour, yeah. And change changed it to mess with you on the next stream. Yeah. Um, so I have I have access to the DNAS, so I can actually change it. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it. I learned that when I wear my headset, I just yell a lot more. Um, which is not ideal, but hey, what's up, Sheldred? Hello, hello. Thanks, still spilling, yeah. Stings, how you doing? Allowing memory defragmentation does make memory ops a bit more expensive since handles the first needs to be translated to an allocator and a useful pointer, but plan on adding a pointer caching system in the future. If you defragment memory, how do oh, I guess if you do it at the hmm, so you're writing an operating system, is what you're saying. You have like a, you're writing a virtual memory management system. You can tell he works in SV. What is SV? Lemnian, what's S, what is SV? What, what ams? Uh, Stick says, good man, thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well too. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fairly well. <laughs> what is nano? <laughs> uh, okay, good, this updated. YouTube's API has been, fairly flaky recently like i've done nothing and it's been going from like red to green to red to green stupid stupid social vacuum what's 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 wrong what's wrong with 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 prushies what's wrong with prushies oh silicon valley oh i'm in i'm in michigan i'm not i'm not in california anymore um, forgetting my names. We got Reginald, Reginald, and Carpet. First, I remember this one's name. It has a twin. This is Pi. That's Bub the Sub. And this is Noodle. I don't know why I can't remember. Anyone remember this one's name? <laughs> uh, not really, just trying to reduce memory fragmentation because the game engine handles a lot of memory, especially with open worlds. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Easy Light says, just a funny domain thing. A German television company owns a VOD platform called RTL. It has a reputation to be a TV station for people with low IQ, so they own the domain rtl-now.de, but also rtl-nau.de. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bad plushy daddy can't remember his name. Yeah. Oh. Man, that's really fucked up. Why can't I remember the names? I don't know. I don't know. It's not Jake, but that's what my brain brain stream like Jake, Jake, Jake. It's not Jake. I know it's not. Um I don't know. And that it's 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 a set of twins. I have one of the twins. Deuce has the other twin. Pushy one through six. Wait until you aren't tipsy. I should still remember it while slightly inebriated. Like there's no there's no excuse there. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, they put that there. So anyway, here's the anti gravity um, comic. Well, you can do it yourself. <clears throat> also have a benchmark for an allocator. It takes 4.95 nanoseconds to allocate and deallocate. Nice, nice. Uh, the blue thing is a... Fidget toy. How many baby seconds? Oh, no. Zach. His name is Zach. His name is Zach. 
and his twin brother is Zane. Zack and Zane. Okay, I remember it. I am I am the plushy daddy. <laughs> okay, what was I doing before I got distracted? Did I push this? I know I did my little PyPI password thing. Did not. Almost forgot. Um, oh, right. We were a good code changing like a ghost. But they didn't write a test, so we're going to write a test for them. We're gonna write this so we're not cheesing our way around coverage. How coverage should be failing. Uh, can you remember your plushie's names? No, I did. It just took me a bit. I also don't call them by their names very often, so they mostly just sit on the shelves. Eleven dollars seems a bit expensive for that useless blue thing. Uh. 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 Why are you Fs? Plus no Fs? Uh-oh. So they don't have Go installed? No, they do. Um... Hmm. You do realize some kid trying to spend half a month of his life stitching that together? I don't think that's how it worked. Oh man. What is the actual error here? Cannot find main module. Uh... It has a go mod. I thought that was all it needed, right? Oh, you know what it probably is? Wow, this is such a useless command. <laughs> oh. I thought I merged their other patch that added all of the go mods. Or did I just approve it and then forget to click the button? No. Oh. Yeah, there's a whole fuck ton of go mods here. Why do I not see them here? Oh, because they don't. <laughs> because they reverted their patch <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> uh, gotta let's suit out and get him fed. Uh, gonna change devices back in a minute. Sounds good, Dean Els. Your code has become sentient. sentient? Yeah. Uh, did you see the open source version of GPT-3? I did not. GPT-4 can learn on GPT-3 code? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So now this should be passing, but failing for coverage. Huh? Green dot? 
Hey, green dot. There we go. Okay. So we had to rebase anyway because their patch is broken. So, good code change like a ghost for a good reason. GPT-5 will train on the events leading up to the nuclear winter. See, I... These GPT-Xs, I feel like, are not actually that significant of a breakthrough. Like, yeah, <clears throat> they're fairly good at regurgitating things that <coughs> that have already happened. Um, but I don't think they generate novel knowledge. And that's... Oh, there's a mosquito bite here, too. God damn. All right, so we have to add one test that Copilot Copilot's not even very good. Hey, Jay Carey. Cheers to you with one year of Septum. Thank you for your continued support. Good to see you again at tier three, nonetheless, too. The, the big simp. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support. It's good to see you. Hopefully you are doing well. Um, and cheers to you. But yeah, I, uh, I've been part of the Copilot beta, and here's my thoughts on it, if you want to check those out. TLDR is... Uh, I think I just need to... Um... Set one of these to... Um... Strip false. Yes. Oh, the cough was meant for it has issues? Yeah. Cockpilot? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get it ready in the Quake 3 fast input square root, including the original comments. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Um, is Java really that much faster than Python? It depends if you factor startup or not, or if you're running PyPy or not. Which I guess means you're still factoring in startup, but yeah. All right, so this should pass the coverage now. Um, I think all these language transformers are really useful tools like Google Search, where one person can get access to much more information. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, that already existed, but wasn't accessible. Yeah. Why does your bot spam the chat? So. <laughs> Um, there are a few trigger words that the bot has, and especially people especially talk in passive voice um, or less assertive about what they're saying. And so whenever you say think or thonk or thunk, uh, it'll respond with with the Python. So that's that's why it does that. <laughs> uh, is it that hard to be faster than Python? Not really, but yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, yeah, think doesn't work for heaven XD, but good, good try. What is PyPI? Do you mean do you mean PyPI or PyPI? Because uh, PyPI is the Python package index where you upload packages and I guess download packages to install them, and PyPI is an interpreter written in a subset of Python called. R Python, and it has a just-in-time compiler. <clears throat> you clearly didn't think this one through. That's an assertive state, and you didn't think about. <laughs> yeah, past tense doesn't work. It's just it's just think 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 thunk think think thunk think think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be passive voice, but it also it also punishes passive voice. That, that's kind of the point. So we can put this up since, so, um, yeah. Okay, so I made it an actual if statement instead of a cheesing it if statement. And then here's the question, if I can push to their branch or not. Because uh, I couldn't before, and pre-commit I couldn't before. So we'll see if we can now. 
Uh, get brush, get remote, get push, go head dash app. Fuck. God damn it. Oh well. Stings! Thank you for the resub at 10 months. Appreciate your continued support. Good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well. Now it says today, wonder how many bugs exist in the world because of stateless, state, stateful regex in JavaScript. God, so many. Knowledge, knowledge sent me uh, this little puzzle earlier today in chat. Um, so what should this output? So if you're a reasonable person, I would expect, you know, A, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But then I remembered, oh yeah, exec in JavaScript is stateful, so it knows which string you're running, so it'll do A and then shit, shit, shit. A and then dot B and then dot C and then dot D. And then I was like, oh, well, it's stateful, so it should know when I pass it a different string, right? <laughs> Wrong. It maintains the state from this call, and so it outputs null. And then whenever it outputs null, it resets the state so that it goes back to A. Because, because JavaScript. Because <laughs> regular expressions in JavaScript have internal state, which is fun. Like yeah, there's there's gotta be so many, so many bugs. Uh, I think that you if think that think should have that response, you should really think about it again. Hmm. It only does it once. It's not gonna reply a bunch of times though. Um, <laughs> analogies like Windows. Yeah. Did I did a Windows ding or something? Oh, cause I, I must have Windows dinged. Uh, Thoughts Drew says, is production code usually run with PyPy, or is that in just certain cases? I have not seen much run in Py, much PyPy run in production. That sentence was a mess. <laughs> I've seen some PyPy in production, mostly for extremely CPU-bound stuff and performance-critical stuff. Uh, the problem is, and this has been getting, been getting a lot better, uh, but the problem is PyPy is not 100% the same as CPython. And so there are those differences cause bugs. And so not everyone, not everyone can get away with running um, PyPy in production. But some, some do. Uh, does Windows not let the bot think about things? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You got it, silly buttons. That is, you have, um, you have tricked the bot. Uh, Dion says, made it back soon. I got way too excited. Well, welcome back. But yeah, this is JavaScript being fucked up. Paper C, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are doing well. It's not a bug. I feel like the think and the Windows things are an Easter egg anyway. So It's just a quirk in the behavior. Someone just made... Someone just needs to make a cross file for Python and JavaScript. I don't care how, but just do it. So I've contributed to one, which is a JIT inside a JIT inside a JIT. No, two levels JIT, JIT inside a JIT. So this is PyPyJS. Oh no! Did they not redeem? No, 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 don't do .org because then I'll get the shitty thing. Just search for PyPyJS. Oh my fucking god. Oh! See, this is why I hate that we've been trained as a society to... What is... Uh, they must have let their uh, domain expire. Or it's on HTTP? No, it's just gone. Oh, that's a bummer. Um... But PyPyJS is an attempt to cross cross compile PyPy into JavaScript using mscripten to run it in the browser, um, and it works. And it's faster than CPython, which is wild. Um, 
Really, I'm going to put regex.last index equals zero to have somewhat normal behavior. Yeah, right, right. How many bugs are there in the world because people think that Python is not an awful language? Yeah, true, true, Jalbanga. Uh, I also love that the best way of writing code in Python that is fast is by calling C code in C Python. In PyPy, it's the opposite. How did he trick the bot? Having Windows in the statement negates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Hey, what's up, Fixer Jake? Hello, hello. Careful, you might end up on a porn site. Yeah. Yeah. Why would someone want to cross compile from one awful language to another? I don't know. The Emscripten project's pretty popular. Okay, so because this person fucked up their permissions, I have to push their branch to origin. And uh, we can't actually good code change like a ghost because they have set permissions on the branches, which is great. Uh, I, I fucking love when people do this. Or they didn't check the box. So. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't actually run my pie. I was happy with that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We good. We good. I could probably use type dick, but. Uh -huh -huh. Was their original thing here? Those is 90 and 93. Those is 90. Those is 93. Uh, WebAssembly? Yeah. We all know JavaScript is better than Python. <laughs> Cox Stare. Nice, nice emote there. <clears throat> By JavaScript, I mean ECMA 5. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, the gel mega is here to to shit on Python, which like teach their own. Um. Okay, so once we merge this thing. Um, hmm. Brian sent me an interesting email. Okay, Jay's got to go. Well, thank you for stopping by. Oh, I was about to, I was about to open up your pull request though. No, you can, you can go. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, it's that when you search for how to do this in Python online in JavaScript, the top answer on Stackflow is a 20 line script uh, snippet. Yeah, that happens a lot. Especially when you're like, I want to do sets. And it's like, haha, go fuck yourself. Um, let me watch for my phone in bed. And there you go. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be me squashing your commits and then merging them because I think the, I think I saw that the test passed. So. Yeah, and then rebasing my patch because they're going to conflict. Um, unless this is unrelated. What is this room? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's like, what is this patch? Oh, I understand. Got him! Yeah. Super on brand. It's perfect. I love it. Some kind of inside joke. Yeah, on my stream, I say hello, hello all the time. Um, so much so that I have a, um, a hello, hello emote. Hey, what's up, outdated version? Hello, hello. See? There you go. Right there. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Testaroni is pretty good too. But yeah, I'm probably just going to squash your branch and merge it. Um, and maybe replace the word dummy with placeholder. Um, 
but yeah. <clears throat> you should say ahoy ahoy if you want to be historically correct. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Tech, tech with Isaac? Hello, hello. Yeah, .NET support, Fixter Jake. Fancy, right? Um, this is what the fucking three weeks of Docker refactoring has led to. .NET is what all the cool kids write? A. Hey. The Alexander Graham Bell originally suggested Ahoy be adopted as the standard reading when answering the telephone before hello. Hmm. Well, that didn't catch on. Working on a Blazor Wasm project with a .NET 5 API will certainly use that. Nice. To be honest, .NET is very nice. Yeah, I'm really, I, I really like C Sharp. I mean, I wouldn't write VB, but Python. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I don't know about you, but everyone I know says ahoy. Are you a pirate, Lemnian? It's the um. I don't even remember what this is from, but like, there's like a jingle stuck in my head from who fucking knows when, but it's something like. Blah, blah, blah. A pirate is free. You are a pirate. And then it's just that over and over and over. Um, which I just associated with BitTorrent. As a, as a, as a young lad. Um, but I think I looked it up recently and it's from like some fucking children's show. Children's show. You are a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Some fucking weird ass children's show. <clears throat> Do what you want, a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yeah, there you go, Pythonic Pie. Um, a young lad. <laughs> it's from Lazy Town, a kids' show. Yeah, I have no idea. I think the only version of this song that I've seen is like some like weird remix with like the Pirate Bay or something. I don't actually know. I actually paid attention. Is Wasm production ready? I don't know. I think the answer is no, because not too many browsers support it. Echo Vazic says, what are your thoughts on C Sharp versus Java? C Sharp is just a better Java. Just is. Uh, if you want to write VB, something might be wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you just do to get commit dash dash amend? This here? I just... It's added my changes to their commit. That's what dash dash demand does. Uh, I'm impressed with the EF core team has done with EF core six. Apparently they got 70% of performance increase. What? That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Oh, that made a fun noise. Made like a noise when I picked up my beer. <clears throat> Mosquito bite. Born kiss from Lazy Town passed away ages ago. Hmm. Well, rip in peace. That show has some memes. <laughs> and the only one I know is you are a pirate. C sharp is Microsoft Java. Yeah, it's true. Hey, what's up, Zithrius? How you doing? Pirate is a Python package name waiting to be snatched. Is that true? Link list. IPI that org slash p slash pirate. No, it exists already. Pirate is a Python wrapper for RESTful web APIs. It's like magic, but simpler. <laughs> it's like magic, but simpler. And they fucked up their readme. Or they did their readme before. Wait. 
Uh, the default has always been RST. What? <sighs> Probably dead. Dead. It's surely dead. Yeah, 2017. 0.5 Alpha 9, and then they were never to be seen again. R.I.P. Chive. Shrip, shripney. Shripney. Interesting name. Anyway. Uh, welcome back, Link List. Good to see you. I kid you not, when Anthony said some stupid kids show out of context, it could be the politics of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Ezekiel? Hello, hello. Good to see you. <clears throat> Pepe song? Uh, it's not pep 8 it's pep 20 right it's, it's this this song they're like the the person who recorded this i feel like their recording is like pretty lame they're like beautiful is better than ugly explicit is better than implicit and it's just like cool well i mean you're just reading words from a thing you're not actually like getting into it you could be like beautiful is better than ugly or something like that you know <laughs> uh alex angelo thank you for the follow welcome welcome uh talking about c sharp and planning to learn that once i finished learning python finished learning python oh man what a what a concept. Uh, sorry, I didn't read the rest of your stuff. I don't really know what I'm going to do with career-wise, but these two languages, though. I mean, the thing about learning languages is you don't really need to know a specific one to get a job in any other different one. Uh, because programming languages are... Wait, is this not finished? Why are you yellow? Confuse? Uh, but that didn't close these. Wait. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this number says two. This says zero. Hello? <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. LJMF says, may I su su add support for D in pre-commit? Yeah, go for it. If you can, uh, there's there's directions. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Here about adding languages. Adding support for a new hook language. Uh, pre-commit already supports many programming languages to write hook executables with. When adding support for a language, you must first decide what level of support to implement. The currently implemented languages are at varying levels. Zeroth class. Pregment does not require any dependencies for these languages as they're not actually languages. Uh, fail and pygrep fall into this category. First class. Pregment will bootstrap a full interpreter requiring nothing to be installed globally. Uh, Node and Ruby. Second class. Pregment requires the user to install the language globally but will install tools in an isolated fashion. Python, Go, Rust, Swift, Docker. Third class. Pregment requires the user to install both the tool and the language globally currently scripted. Uh, Pomoko, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, if you want to add D, if D has some sort of package manager or build tooling or... Yeah, make, make it happen. Um, uh, <laughs> petition for Pyrate to become a torrent library. I mean, it does, it is abandoned, so you might be able to do the, uh... Name takeover shenanigans. Oh, the music has stopped. <clears throat> Being able to code in a language and knowing it are two entirely different things. Yeah, that's true. Finish a language? I can't even finish a side project. Yeah. Like, I would say I'm not finished with Python. And... Hmm. Uh, Shad says, please one grain of help, sir. How do I specify the correct directory in the wheel script for the puzzle? For example, in libsass python, you have libsass. I need to point to my local directory. The easiest way is to do something like this. I'm going to maybe give away too much. Give me one sec, though. What? What? 
No way. I don't even think my disc is that big. That number is not right. Uh, yeah, my disc is max 39 gigs. <laughs> Podman, you're drunk. Go home. They must have counted this image like 20 times or something wild. Um. Oh, yeah, but I was going to show you the thing. Uh, mini Linux Docker image. Uh, this one, yeah. So, take one of these and you run. Um. Yeah, and this is the thing that needs to get built, for example. Uh, basically, what you're doing is you're doing RMTI, and then you need a mount. Um, and if you use $PWD, that is going to refer to the current working directory. Docker and Podman, to an extent, require full pads for all of their mounts. Um, and so if you do something like this, I'll give you a full mount. Um, something it says language not really important. Looks shadily at you as somebody in the AAA game industry. Okay, yeah. So in some 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 cases, you will need to know particular languages. That's true. Tech with that says, you know, I've never asked before. How long have you been programming? I've been programming for nineteen years. Okay, so now if we look at source, this is amount of that uh, inner project. So then you can do uh, uh Python, CP3, and oh, they put PyPy in here? Oh. Maybe I don't need to maintain the PyPy stuff anymore. And then you can do dash m pip wheel slash source to temp w. Something like that. This is maybe giving away too many spoilers for the uh, puzzle, but then that'll build a Linux x86 wheel into here, and then you use audit wheel repair on temp w this, uh, and that'll spit out a new wheel somewhere here, and then <laughs> look at this crazy ass tag, uh, and then you'll copy this out. Um, usually. I mean, usually what I do is I make a mount, but you can also podman ps and then do podman copy this colon this to dot podman cp. Yeah, so that's how you can retrieve this wheel out of there. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Keeb says this guy needs Tmux. I know how to use Tmux. I don't like to use it because it fucks with the keyboard. Uh, I'm perfectly happy with my current workflow. Hey, what's up, Ken Biko? Hello, hello. Good to see you. I read once that a finished project is an abandoned project. So, yes and no. I think there are some things which can definitively have a end, end point. Oh, I missed Mr. Tibbs. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. There are some things that will not receive features. And Future Breakpoint, which is actually what I was just demoing with, is a good example of something that will not receive any future updates. Um, it's done. It's feature complete. There's nothing else to do for it. Uh, you know, it implements a standard. It does it correctly. And it only does it for um, obsolete versions of Python. So there's like no, there's no reason to extend this any further. It already works, um, including on PyPy. So yes and no, but I think you're right in most situations. Like most situations, <laughs> a finished project is an abandoned one, yeah. Uh, I just wrote Python till Rust took my attention. I assume that's what most people, how most people switch languages as interests change over time. Yeah, I think that's fair. DF is a lie like the moon landing. 
I don't know what DF is. Zermang says repost. Oh, sorry if I missed your message. My bad. Uh, did you see the code names of Intel's upcoming GPUs? Alchemist, Battle Mage, Celestial, and Druid. I guess they like D and D at Intel, maybe. Dash <laughs> TI just looks wrong. It should be dash IT. I'm a fan of TI. That's how I learned it, for better or worse. Um, but yeah. <laughs> did you clip? You clip the um. Too too many too many bytes. <laughs> disc too small <laughs> the disc is too small uh because i'm doing it in bin build api wheels pip wheel can't find the thing oh you'll have to mount your code in uh which is basically what i did with this dash v thing that way pip can find your library uh, the libsass Python script um, cheats a little bit in that the way that I upload the package is I upload the source distribution and then I re-download that and you you won't be able to bounce through pipe yet. Python Python says, I projects that simply need no more work, but of course men the mentality of users is no commits for one year. It's obviously abandoned slash obsolete. Well, Pythonic Pi, there's an easy fix for that. You just need to set up pre-commit and pre-commit CI. That way all of your commits can just be pre-commit CI auto update. And then no one will guess if it's dead or not. Cause it'll always look like it's up to date. Even if it's, you know, feature complete. <laughs> Alien, hello, hello. I sent you a message on Discord, a super pun. What is it? You messaged me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be good tomorrow. Um, yep. Uh, that's why I buy a new microwave every month to ensure I'm running the latest firmware. What? Geos, welcome back. Hello, hello. What are you working on? Uh, hodgepodge bunch of things. Um, before I get, forget, I need to release this. Reshot, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Ti or according to the one guy at Nvidia, tie like the one around your neck. Oh no, I would not do that. Keep says I love this stream FAK video. Wait, which one? Which one? Jenny Pie, how are you doing? Welcome back. Camera dead. What? Uh oh. Okay. Did it run out of battery? Uh, I turn it off and turn it back on again. That's not good. Let me check if the power is plugged in. Yeah. Weird. Well, it's back now, so... Sorry about that. I will have to figure that out. No easy fixes for your video on Linux? Windows. <laughs> I shouldn't have these problems. <clears throat> shouldn't have these problems. Hand stream, yeah. <laughs> okay, we fixed it though. We're back. Hmm. Concern. Yeah, Jenny Pie, LJMF is here too. You're both you're both here. Oh, the stream video when you talk about Babby. Oh nice, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So I guess it's an earth linear columnar keyboard user. Seeing him type hurts my soul. Eh, it happens. It happens. Yeah, I don't I don't know what happened with the camera. Weird. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, did you? Oh my god, you both sent the same message. What? What? You have audio issues? You can't blame it on Linux? It's true, it's true. I did have audio issues when I first got the microphone. Um, because I accidentally put it in left ear only. Because I didn't know how to do the stereo monitor. Okay, anyway. Um, what the fuck? I will turn the camera back on. Hello? Uh, it's not turning back on, chat. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, that's not good. It's not overheating, would be my first guess. Let me go look at the little screen and see if it's mad or something. Well then, it says the battery is dead. Uh, which doesn't make sense because it's plugged in. So, fuck. The crazy thing is we're only like an hour into the stream. Use the hand cam for the face cam. Hi there, chat. <laughs> Is this what you want? It's <laughs> like the weirdest fucking angle ever. I mean, we could, uh... We could rock it old school. <laughs> so jank. <laughs> um, I'm actually using OBS to flip it already, so... Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, now we're right side up at least. I gotta remove the crop. Oh. We're doing it live chat. Where's the fucking filters? Move. Hello? Okay. So we can temporarily put me up here. Now we have old school cam for a bit. Ah. <sighs> Oh well, that's what you get for a uh, fancy, fancy tech. I guess, what am I gonna do? My only guess is that the charging cable that I have that's going into it is not, hmm. I don't know, I'll have to do some research, figure it out. Anyway, we're back with, with old cam for now. <laughs> The best Linux distro for audio is no Linux distro. Hmm. Yeah, that is what I get for upgrading my my streaming setup. Um, but yeah, no keyboard cam for now because that's that's the way things go. I could get the other one out, but I'm not gonna do that. It's too much work. Quality of this camera is way better. It's actually not, but does it show you if it's charging? Yeah, it does. The little charging light's on. Um, which I think is why I was able to turn it on for a couple seconds, but I don't know. Uh, David J. Jackson, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Jimmy Pass says, I'm going through learning Python the hard way. Does any of you have opinions on it? I don't know anything about books, so I don't have an opinion. Well, 
Well, now I'm sad, chat. Now I'm sad. <sighs> I wonder if there's like a pass through battery thing that I can hook up. Maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, no, I'm just bummed. Sucks to be bummed. Well, uh, David Chaga, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How did you get those status stuff when doing a commit? Kane the game, welcome to the stream. Uh, that comes from my baby, pre commit which is a linter and code formatter framework. The TLDR of pre-commit is once you have it set up, you set up a small configuration file, which says what tools and versions and where to get them from that you want to run on your files. In this case, we have a code formatter, um, some fixers and, or some fixers and some checkers, and you can integrate it with Git hooks and it installs all those tools for you and then runs them against files in your code base. Um, which is pretty cool, but yeah, that's, that's what, that's what that is. And, uh, yeah, I set it up on all of my projects. It's probably what I spent the most amount of time on, uh, which is pretty cool. Blue RR says, in regards to unit testing, what would be the best place to start learning? So I think the best way to learn about testing is first to do it a lot yourself, but also to work with other individuals that know stuff about testing and learn from um, learn from them through like code review and other stuff yeah. good code change like ghost yeah it comes with a free ghost exactly jenny pie says what's your code formatter of choice well pylint isn't a code formatter first off uh, but i use a bunch of different code formatters uh this is this is a formatter, this is a formatter, uh, this is a formatter. I don't have all of them in this one. Let's do this one, which has more. I need to standardize these at some point. Okay. So this is a formatter, 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 this is a formatter. That's a formatter, and this is a formatter. Those are the formatters that I use. All of those. A lot of them. David says, I don't know if you remember, I told you about my school project, the writing and reading to slash from memory addresses. One guy promised me to send me all the addresses, but I stumbled on another problem. Is there some Python library to access process memory, or do you think that another language could be better? I mean, you could read through the proc file system. I don't remember, to be honest, David, um, which is surprising. Usually I remember these types of things. Um, but I mean, reading another process's memory is usually reserved for, you know, privileged processes. I guess Linux or Windows, yeah, that's another question too. Um, but there is some stuff in proc Oh, actually, I think I subtly remember your um, your your project now. Um, but you can read this um, file-like thing, proc pid mem, and then I think you can read from file or from addresses using that. I don't know. I've never done it myself, but yeah. I'm so bummed about my camera. That's so stupid. Oh, it's on Windows? <laughs> I have no idea then. Good luck. <clears throat> do incremental checks need to be implemented by the formatter? What do you mean? LJMF. So my guess says getting late. Gonna go. Well, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you around in the future. Have a good one. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you are. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that thing is done. What am I gonna do? Oh yeah, the .NET PR. Which should be green now. Fuck. Fuck. I won't graduate if it doesn't work out. Oh shit. Oh shit. They're checking every file, just check the changed ones. Yeah, that's what pre-commit does. Uh, pre-commit finds just the changed files and passes them on to the underlying tools. That's why if you look here, you can see that only these two hooks ran and all these other ones didn't run because no Python files were changed as part of this commit. So it didn't run any of the Python related tools. It only ran the ones that were generic text files. Um, that's most of the point of pre-commit is to take your change list and only call the things that matter. Because running everything on everything all the time would be really fucking slow. <laughs> like hella slow. Like super slow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now this is merged, I want to merge my Conda PR. Uh, and I also want to... I mean, that was predictable. That was bound to happen. Um, pre commit CI run. I already have this cloned. Oh, I didn't actually want to merge that. There was some other good code I wanted to change like a ghost. A bunch of these libraries are duplicated, uh, like libc6 and libgc1 and libssl, and yeah, I can just leave them. It's not a big fucking deal. I don't know if I asked this, but are you using sh for git on Linux? Yes, I only use sh basically. Although it is faster to clone over HTTPS for pre commit, um, for a read only fashion, because for whatever reason, sh clones are kind of slow. Okay, uh, and then I also need to do this. Oh, where's the script? Underscore info. We need to add. I think these were alphabetic. Yeah. Yeah, these are alphabetic. So we need to put you up. Oh. Python is, of course, first, but everything else is alphabetic. <laughs> uh, oh, which makes Conda alphabetically superior. No. Oh, man. Does somebody, does somebody actually have Conda installed right now? And can tell me what the version command is for Conda? I don't really want to install it. <laughs> Somebody in chat. Surely one of the 86 people here has Conda installed and can run the version command for me. Dash dash capital V? What? Is there a long opt for it? That doesn't sound right. That sounds fucked. Doesn't seem right. Sure it isn't single dash V? SSH is becoming mandatory for writes, not for reads. Yeah, for GitHub. GitHub for writes. Conda info or dash single V. How of K 
Can you make me a paste bin of the two outputs? And show me the differences. This just version also works. Honda mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 4.10.0. Okay, cool. Dope. Okay, we'll do that then. Look. Okay, so we'll do that then. Oh, Zithrius has a link for me. Why is it dash dash space version? Or is this just weird highlighting? It's just weird, weird highlighting. Okay. Look. How to turn Conda version, uninstall it. Yeah, that's the that's the real homie advice. <laughs> that's why my Conda version is undefined because I don't have it installed. That's why I would install that. Okay, so that'll install Conda. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do is move Rust to be a ancillary language, a lazy language, a slightly slower language a uh, non-default language. Defer Rust. Unfortunately, I've gotten in a terrible habit of typing this and then typing my branch name because at work, you have to prefix all your branches. Otherwise, um, Otherwise, most of the tooling doesn't work, or a lot of the tooling works, but some of it is like really clunky if you don't do this. So, oh, says, how big is your main monitor that you can have two terminals side by side? I can have more actually. I have pictures. I think I have, I think I have old pictures, yeah. This is not my current setup. Um, but this is my primary screen, and this is how much the two terminals take up. Not actually that much. Um, and they're at, like, giant font size. Like, this is massive. Uh, hey, what's up, Me? I love that. Um, where's my more... Oh, I don't have it on here, do I? Um, bleh. oh my god, you guys talk in the dick sword so much, but I can't find this photo anymore. Hello, well, there was the dicks. Okay, here it is. This is kind of what the um, the new setup sort of looks like. Um, but yeah. What's up, Afro Juliano? Hello, hello. Gonna start using Pikmin with Rust? Nice, nice. I installed Conda only to uninstall a few months later without ever using it. Eh, that makes sense. I was forced to use HTTPS at school because SH was blocked? Oh, God. Why, though? Who in there? Why? Why would... <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's unfortunate. You have to parkour over the table to get in the closet. Um, no, because I can, there's like a bunch of space here that I can walk around and this is like four feet from the wall. And then there's like a two foot space between here and the closet. But I also don't go to the closet very often because it's mostly there's suitcases and cardboard boxes from things that I've bought in there. And that's, that's it. That's mainly it. Oh, I can actually buy one of these. Holy shit, they're so expensive. Wild. Oh wait, this is only like 20 bucks. Why did that say like 200? There's a fucking unboxing video for these? Jesus. 
Uh, Wednesday, August 25th. Like a week. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'll buy one of these later. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know why the battery was low? Because I spent an hour talking to somebody this morning or earlier today. And I forgot to turn off the camera. That's why I was out of battery. Damn. Oh, well, I'm stupid. My bad. That's why we're on the old camera. Uh, the first night I circumvented by creating a tunnel through an IMAP port. Oh, oh no. It's wild. Okay, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, we uploaded. I'm not going to be able to work on the blog post today, unfortunately. Two hours in? Yeah. I'm almost done with this. Where it and we're waiting for the conda thing to rebuild. Which takes forever because we just keep making this Docker image bigger and bigger. But that's fine, because Precommit actually handles it reasonably well. HPS ports and a packet filtering. Wait, how do the I don't see how you packet filter on HPS because um because it's encrypted. Like how do you packet filter on that? Eric Gears says, I always wonder why don't you go work at some fan company and earn 500k? I bet it's more profitable than open source. I work at Stripe and I wake I make way more than I would make at a fan company. Um, yeah, open source is mostly what I do as a hobby in my free time. So, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's almost done. It's doing the Gonda stuff now. Nice, nice. Nice. Thanks for the suggestion, chatter. <laughs> says says chats. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Forgive us peasants. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to work at... Honestly, I wouldn't want to work at anything greater than or equal to the current size of the company that I'm working at. Um, it's goddamn Verizon spam. What about Fat Man Bang? What's Fat Man Bang? <laughs> Facebook, Amazon, TripAdvisor, mm, Mamazon, <laughs> sorry, Mam, Twitter, Trello. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you find your eyes are deteriorating with all the computer screen time you're getting? It says Mortal Law. Bro, if I was gonna go blind for computers, Microsoft. Oh yeah, duh. If I was going to go blind from computers, I would have been blind a long-ass time ago. My vision is fucking great. Um, yeah, because I've been getting, you know, 100 hours of screen time per week for years. And I'm still pretty fine. Yeah, what is B? Uh... Uh... Belp <laughs> and the third A. You got Apple, Amazon, and who else? Who's the B? Bloomberg? Mm, I mean, they're 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 fairly big. Yeah, they're 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 pretty large. I don't know that I would include them in the, like the Fang category though. Oh, Yadrick, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Um. <clears throat> yeah, what other B? Big tech companies that start with B. There's no way this is gonna. Oh, there's there's a Fortune 500 company list. Any of these? Boeing is a tech company, kind of ish. I don't know any of these other ones. 
view my gear. Well, we don't want 1955. Wait, what? 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 Anyway. Blizzard? Hmm, perhaps. Did add an S for stripe at the end? Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. Big tech. <laughs> Look at how cringe this... <laughs> Look at how cringe this graphic is. <laughs> oh, Adobe. Yeah, perhaps. Maybe the beast transferred to stripe. Yeah. Look at how fucking cringe this graphic is. <laughs> uh, have you ever done wiki racing? Wiki racing is pretty fun. Oh, Alibaba could be another A. Berkshire Hathaway? What? Bumble? Mm. I like that Fang excludes Microsoft. Yeah, but they're fucking huge. They're bigger than Amazon. Which is like... Why would you... Why? Why? Are you done yet? I got to get this arrow over and over and over. Is there really no big tech with B? Not currently, but you could make one. The third A could be Alphabet. Yeah, yeah. Alphabet and Google are separate. Yeah. Didn't they do that mostly for like tax reasons or some bullshit? It's mostly to like have a parent company that they could push off tax liability on. Is that the reason? I think that's the reason most people do reorgs. Oh, and patents. Yeah, that would make sense. Sick. Okay. Conda. Merge. Dope. Um, one thing that I also wanted to do here while I'm in this repo. So my former employee had a separate company for patents. That's so wild to me. Uh, what I want to do is these two lines are basically in every single one of these. Um, every single one of these um, falls here. So I think I can just make a function for those. I think they just take... They just take Podman, Tempter, and PC. I think. And tag. Uh, so let's, uh, let's split that out. Build and run hooks, tagster, Tempterster. PC stir admin pool. Uh. Like a so? Yes. Yes. So we can do build and run. Which takes tag, tempter, PC, podman equals podman. And then we can delete a whole fuck ton of code. Nice. This one is different. That one is different. This one is same deal. Refactoring chat. Refactoring. My company has like 20 companies. Whoa. Weird. So dumb how Git allows somebody to impersonate you with email. Yeah, I mean, you could GPG sign, but 
even that's I mean at least you can validate identity but GPG is such a fucking pain in the ass that like does anyone actually want to use GPG nobody wants that why do I feel like there's fewer tests than I expect Like I thought I would replace more of these, but I guess we don't have, I guess I don't have tests for all of the languages, just for some of the latter ones. Oh God. It's silly buttons. <laughs> it's forced me into Vim. And I didn't notice it, so I feel like I should give you another minute. Um, <laughs> oh, how do I do, how do I go to a line? G23? Colon 23? No, it was colon... It was colon 29. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, that was an F with no headphones? Yeah, my bad. No, I'll give you- I'll give you more Vim time. Because I feel like- I feel like I cheated you. I feel like I cheated you out of some of your Vim- Vim- Vim minutes there. Um... I do want to check if this actually worked, though. NK Limov says, what is better, calling a Docker client a subprocess or using Docker SDK? Well, I'm actually using Podman here. Um, I find the Docker SDK is pretty not great. And the subprocess API works well enough. Um, yeah. But yeah, it depends on your situation. Like uh, at Lyft, at Lyft, I ported an entire system away from the Docker uh, Pi library because well one it had some like weird constraints on dependencies that we had to install two it was slower and three uh we wanted a way to control the daemon in a more holistic fashion and so using uh using the command line made a lot more sense but yeah it depends on your situation i guess why podman over docker Rootless, daemonless, uh, easier to administer, safer to run, uh, and it is fairly compatible with Docker for what I need it for. But I don't know. I also run it in prod for Precommit CI, so it makes it at least makes sense for that. Oh, I need to do dash dash pod, man. Make sure the test still pass, and then we can push up this fix. Have you tried Cython or Jython, and what do you think? So Cython is a way to build C extensions for C Python. So it's not really different. Uh, so let's see. Out dash full in the end. Uh, and Jython is basically dead. They recently made a Python 3 release, but like, it's not, it's never really been production ready. And I have used Jython, I just, or I have used CPython, Cython. Yeah. Um, but I'd rather either write MyPyC or, or CFFI or CPython extensions uh, or Nuitka or, I don't know. I feel like Cython is like, it was a good, it's a good idea. It's too magical, and like they have their own special DSL, which is. I mean, it's nice in some ways, but kind of annoying in others. Or the creator of Python was an ass. Well, a lot of people are asses in open source. <laughs> I would even say that I'm a dick sometimes, but you know that's the way things go. In fact, my my buddy texted me this morning, and he's like, or maybe this was yesterday. 
what did he send me? I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I'm locking this because you all can't read, <laughs> which is definitely something that I said. Man, I don't know how I'm going to find this. Because <laughs> every single one of these messages in here is like, please read through the linked issues. This is a duplicate of several issues. Uh, but, yeah. Autopsy from SleuthKit uses Jython for plugins. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Damn, bro, that's mean. <laughs> uh yeah well i answer that question over and over and over and over and over and it's not fun so sometimes sometimes a little salt so uh silly buttons there's a chance that i might not have to use a text editor to fix anything if all this comes back green I'm giving up on this wheel podman thing and can't figure out well what do you have so far? We can let's debug it live. Let's make it happen. What what do you got, Chaz? Show, show me your script. Yeah, because if it passes the next test it basically means that we're good. Okay, so this is probably... Oh, you want read-write for this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you want read write for this also. Both these need to be read write. RO is read only, so you won't be able to write into it here. WD. You also need to mount your code in, so you need one more volume for for this. So you need dash v pwd or os dot get cwd uh, to like slash source or something, and then you can use slash source here. Uh, and then it's, yeah, you're, you're so close. So like you can probably do, uh, uh -huh. do this as read only. Double X, two slick, one oh one double X. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sorry that your name is, name is cringe. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'll need these two to be read right. Uh, and then slash source, and then this should work. I think. So the changes that I made here were like pretty subtle, but you're you're pretty close. Uh, so this is to to read only mount to from your current working directory your source code slash source that way you can build from it using this command um and these are your like scratch directories you actually don't need this one at all you can use uh slash temp and then do temp slash wheel uh and then that'll work too Give up, have Anthony finish it, profit. It's just just a little bit a little little bit of pointer. Oh shit, it failed.
Oh, yeah, no, this makes sense. Uh, because... This was out of date. Okay, so it did, it probably did actually pass, but... Hey, what's up, Recursive Chat? Hello, hello. Um, well, yeah, how you doing? Welcome back. We will use Vim for reordering Rust. We'll we'll do that. We'll do that for you, silly buttons. I feel like I owe you. Jeremy, <laughs> nice. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to make Rust a language uh, by moving you up and you need to be part of this. I think I need to do that. I think that's enough to make Rust a language. I will have to test all of this before I deploy it though, which is gonna be a little annoying. We also do Go at the same time. Hmm. I feel like this gets used for a lot of stuff and that should maybe get hoisted. Defer pulling of rust. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully your hopefully your day's going well, Jeremy. <laughs> is your name actually Jeremy? And your name is just a pun for, for Jeremy? Rython? There might be. Oh, I was supposed to open that in Vim. Oh, I fucked up, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, silly buttons. I fucked up. Why is there just like random? <laughs> Clearly the Vim highlighter for, okay. So everyone's all like, yeah, use Vim, blah, blah, blah. Look at this fucking garbage. And uh, oh God, how do I quit Vim? And look at this, look at this in uh, Babby. Not broken in Babby. Works great and babby. Get fucked, Vim. <laughs> His name is Jera underscore me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. My color scheme desert. I don't think the color scheme changes it. Yeah, it just made it worse. This is the uh oh god, what have I done? Oh god. This QL bang. <laughs> uh well that was weird. It like blinked the old color scheme. This is the one that my friend likes. He likes Murphy. I don't know why this one's called dark blue. Like not exactly dark blue. Anyway. Barcode, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. The built-in syntax outing is not the best. Yeah, it's free garbage. Jeremy equals Jeremy. Literally the most clever thing I've ever come up with. Oh no. Oh no. It'd be dark blue on an old ass computer. Perhaps. Perhaps. I guess that makes sense. I wonder why as is highlighted, because it sucks as. <laughs> uh. That was probably less funny than I thought it was. 
Oh, welcome, welcome, Veracode. Uh... Hey, what's up? What's up, left XYZ? As is the keyword in Docker files, only in the from line. Only here. It it doesn't do anything elsewhere. As uh, you know, Babby Babby knows. Babby knows what's up. But Vim Vim does not. <clears throat> Vim is just Bruce forcing bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. That is that is true. That is why it is broken. Because it is force Bruce forcing brute. It's Bruce Bruce Fording. <laughs> Billy <laughs> Bunt says Vim is for ass people and Jenny Pry Jenny Pie replies with I love ass. Nice. Um I'm more of a tits guy myself. <laughs> Chat didn't need to know that, Anthony. Why did you say that? <clears throat> Neo Vim is better? Yeah, probably. That would make that would make sense. That would make sense. The Bruce Bork. Hey, what's up, Lup Lup? Hello, hello. How you doing? Hands up if your feelings are hurt. Oh no, recursive chat. What is going on here? Oh, okay. Viewers dropped by ten. Ah, uh, eh. We lost. We lost three ass people because I said that. Oh, Twitch apparently is banning gambling. Are links to gambling. Interesting. That was the notification that I just got. <laughs> no bra, ass all day. Rip. <laughs> Lip Lup says, good, how are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Only fans banning porn, yeah, right? Banning gambling, but still supporting it with channel blinds, right? Right? Yeah, I feel like the gambling streams on Twitch were low effort content because like yeah they're just low effort content um but then again like i mean if people enjoy watching that more power to them but i also think that they you know enable pretty bad habits cloudman doesn't know about rename exchange oh are you is the uh which which Linux which many Linux image are you using? Cause it might just be so old that it doesn't have it doesn't have the C headers with that in it. You might have to use like Menu Linux twenty ten or Menu Linux twenty fourteen instead. Clip T nine M says you're done with Python? No, we're we're just building a bunch of programming languages for um Pregament CI. Jeremy says, Jeremy says, I'm new to Twitch. This might be a dumb question, but what are you working on here? Uh, so today we're working on just kind of a bunch of miscellaneous open source stuff. Mostly I'm catching up on my email. Um, I have a special chat command that talks about this. Uh, we're not going to do the blog post today. Maybe we'll do that Saturday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I usually just program and stream, interact with chat, hang out, have a good time. Joke around, tell stories, answer questions, whatever, whatever is, whatever's happening. As if as it says, does Stripe have green test suites often? Uh, master is supposed to stay green. Uh, in the repository that I maintain or that I work in most often, I think it went red five or six times this week. Uh, the other repository, which more people work in, pay server goes um goes right a lot more for whatever reason what does ls dash l do uh dash a is show all the files so including ones that are hidden that start with a dot so normal ls will not show like these directories uh, and ls dash l will show you information about stuff so you'll see like mode uh link count Group, owner, size, modify and date, uh, and then ls-al uh, is the same as ls-a-l, 
and that shows you all that stuff that we talked about before, but also now the dot files as well. Um, so yeah, everything. Uh, I often see red check marks on git commits. Does that mean failing CI? Yes, indeed. LS dash capital A. What does that do? Almost all. Oh, yeah, that is better. Because you rarely need dot and dot dot. But yeah. Bum, 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 bum. I hear this meme a lot about juniors slash interns having access to prod and then proceeding to accidentally take down prod or test in prod. Why do they have access to said prod? Probably because the company has not set up proper access and control systems. But I don't know. I break prod pretty often. That's just, you know, that's just part of writing code. Break prod. Prod's there to break. Just kind of happens sometimes. This isn't done. I thought it was done, but it's not done. This is done. I can merge. Wait, am I doing two things at once right now? Is number actually three? It is actually three. Why is GitHub fucked up today? What's up with that? Okay, but this is still running. Uh, how advanced does someone's skill set have to be to be a junior developer? I mean, any any new hire is a junior dev. Junior is the the bottom, so zero to n is is junior. At least in my mind. If you don't break prod, then what are you really doing? <laughs> yeah, to some extent. Granted, the prod that I break doesn't really matter for Stripe because I work on stuff that doesn't really matter. Um, like I'm like offline data processing. Not really part of the core business. I think obviously I'm a PM, so let's chill on breaking prod. <laughs> nice, nice. Have a honeypot prod? Yeah. Libun says, it's a good idea to write a Flagate plugin that interfaces with Bodo for detecting out-of-date ECR images that are hard-coded in Pi files. Uh, I usually like to have my linters as static as possible. And so reaching out to Amazon to figure out stuff at runtime would be like lower than I'd be comfortable with. I think something like that belongs more in a test than a linter. Or you move them to structured data and don't have them in your your um <clears throat> in your source code. Love says, I broke our Terraform prod state just yesterday. Fun as always. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lasting, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Data scientists, AP writing tests, nor installing PyTests. Yeah, that's pretty true. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody jumped into the support channel the other day and was like, what is this invalid slice for lists thing saying? I was like, oh, well, that's the type checker. It's telling you that you're doing something that can't possibly succeed. And I was like, oh, let me take a look at your code review. Plus 12,000 lines. No tests. <laughs> and, um,. They added yet another data science library, graphing utility, and visualization tool to our code base, um, which already has 440 dependencies. It already has three graphing libraries, two visualization tools, and 20 or 30 data science-y libraries. And I was like, oh no. How does somebody possibly code review any of this? Well, one, how does somebody possibly code review any of this? And two, like, where did you steal this code from? Or like three, have you like been working on this for months and like not telling anyone? Or like not incrementally shipping anything and you're just like expecting to just drop this on code reviewers and be like, oh yeah, it looks good, ship it. 
Good luck in prod. There's a pito. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. What's your limit on PR size? I don't like anything over a couple hundred lines. Personally, but yeah, 12,000. Not 1,200, 12,000. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fucking ship it. Yeah, right. Okay, Fim, interacting with Python from a data science slash machine learning perspective and want to round up my skills, but I don't know the best way to fill the gaps. Uh, a web dev is one way. Tool development is another. Uh, how long does it take to build? The, the, I mean, if you build everything from scratch, from source, it takes, in this repository, it takes, if you ran it all linearly, Actually, I don't know linearly because we shard and then we shard again. Um, but we have 16 shards that have 64 cores each, I think. And they take less than an hour total if you run everything. But we use Bazel so it doesn't actually build everything all the time. Uh, so it, our current SLA is four minutes or five minutes, one of the two, I forget which. Uh, so it builds the whole code base in four minutes. Into the long pole. Um, but it would be a lot if you actually did the linear non-cache time. But no one actually hits that very often. Hopefully. Uh, 12k lines would freeze GitHub. Yeah, and we have GitHub Enterprise, so it's even fucking slower. GitHub's just like, no, nah, I'm not going to show your diff. Nope. Remember principal engineer coworker of mine straight copy pasted from Stack Overflow and none of the dependencies work properly on a more isolated system. And when the PR built wouldn't work, I had to point out those URLs are not repos. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, fail up, right? <laughs> but, yeah. The worst is um, I'm going to have to fix their code at some point, and that's not going to be fun. But, anyway... Camera's on a battery, and I'm done with my open source emails. So I think we're gonna call a stream for today. And I'm gonna buy a pass-through battery because apparently charging is uh, insufficient to keep my camera long enough for streams. So I'll go figure that out. But anyway, that's gonna wrap us up for today. Let me do my little spiel. Then we'll send you off to another channel. My name is Anthony. I upload my previous content to YouTube. That is youtube.com slash anthonywritescode, where you can catch previous streams or daily, well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days a week, educational videos. Uh, acronym, thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome, where I go over various topics in Python, DevOps, Git, Linux, whatever you want to know. You ask questions, I answer them in videos, and they end up on the YouTube. Uh, I normally stream on Mondays and Saturdays, Monday evenings and Saturday at noon and Eastern time. And I upload my, or I announce my streams in two places. One of those is Twitter, twitter.com slash code with Anthony, where I basically say what I'm going to work on. We didn't actually get to this, this stream. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. No, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Uh, I also announce on the Discord, which you're free to join. Join the Discord, hang out with us. It's a cool place to hang out. There's a puzzles channel where I am adding somewhat bi-weekly puzzles, uh, but the puzzles are meant to teach you about particular technologies and you learn a bunch of stuff through building them. Did you qualify for Discord Partner yet? So they turned off the Partner program until end of September because apparently the people that are in charge of Partner are going on break or something. So there are currently no Partner applications. Uh, but I think I have, I think right now I have the stats for it. But I need to have those stats when I apply at the end of September. So keep interacting with the Discord, even if you just view it. Yeah, we're trying to get partner. But anyway. Oh, uh, acronym says, first time I find somebody coding Python on Twitch. Indeed. Well, stop by for more streams. It's a fun time. You should come hang out. But anyway, thank you all for stopping by, and let's go find Wait.